Hi guys, welcome to another review on my thoughts of current and maybe not so current games because some of these are worth looking back to. If you're hoping for an overall score, a number or anything depicting a scaling system whereby you can gauge the worthiness of the material, well, this isn't the place to get it. But what you'll certainly get is my most honest and humble opinion on what I think works and doesn't work in any given title. So if you like what you see or dislike it so much that you can't stop watching, well, then why not subscribe? Remember to leave a comment with any new or past games you'd like me to review and as always, hit that like button. With all those formalities out of the way, let's get going. MotoGP has been my all time favourite sport for the last decade and MotoGP 19 the game from developers Milestone SRL have delivered with the season's iteration. Typically the roster comprises as expected this day and age of all current riders and teams with their excellent liveries and individual bike aesthetics. Each bike feels different when riding from the raw power of the Ducati to the very well-rounded workhorse that is a Honda RC213V. From Moto3 and the Rookies Cup to the 600cc Moto2 and amazing 1000cc concept bikes in the MotoGP class, the field range is vastly adding a lot of depth and technicality to a great simulator. Adjustments of your ECU definitely make a huge difference whether it be tuning the TCS traction control system, EB for engine braking or AW anti-wheeling to facilitate the riding experience when hitting those corners at speed on a wet track. There is finally enough here to keep you on your toes while whizzing around Donington at 300 plus kilometers per hour. This year has seen the implementation of much better player customization options. Finally all the posts and cries from fans have been seen too and man have they delivered with a new graphics editor. Players can now create their own number, helmet and sticker designs. This adds a whole new level for character mode allowing the end user to create really complex designs to flaunt on the race track. Suffice to say that the addition is extremely welcome and very long overdue. You can create as simple or as complex a design as you want and they really do look great. Finally we can ride with beautiful designs that match our favourite team's liveries as opposed to looking as if we dug them up from the back of Grandad's shed. As I've already pointed out the riding feels as good as ever and I also noted a significant improvement in the engine sounds but the most significant difference though is the AI. Riders are actually great at what they're meant to do, riding. They will come back at you if you run wide with ferocity and a longing for the podium not seen in previous installations. They're now even harder to overtake and almost seem to know that you're actually around, something typically non-existent in many racing titles. It is by a long shot one major step up in the franchise. Note however that if you're a rookie player you can easily adjust the settings to allow you to be more competent against the opposition by lowering their awesomeness to that of a toddler on a tricycle, so every skill level is really catered for. The graphics as per usual are great and the game runs smoothly at a relatively steady 60 frames per second until it doesn't. Because ever since their latest updates, I've noticed a significant amount of stuttering and even on some occasion the game seems to stop entirely in its tracks. Pun intended. It obviously hinders the gameplay when this happens. This is a racing title after all. Let's hope Milestone get this sorted because it didn't happen to the game upon release. It just came about after the latest update. The bike looks superb, even when up close in photo mode. Now they've also added bike damage, mostly scuffs and scratches, but I doubt you'll be getting up from any crash that made your bike look like a crumbled up Snickers wrapper. The interface is simplistic and everything is there for you, from tire wear, current gear, speed, position, best lap times, gaps, etc. Nothing to brag on about, but all the info is well displayed and if you're brave enough to turn away from the action to check out the time advantage you have over the rider at your rear without taking in a full face of dirt, well it's all very nicely put together and easy enough for you. The online mode ranges from single races to full blown championships. There is also the recurring inclusion of eSports Championship that's a whole other review in itself. But for those who aren't sure what it entails, I'll explain. In layman's terms, if you want a chance to prove yourself against the best virtual racers out there and be crowned 2019 MotoGP eSports Champ and win awesome prizes, this is what you want to get into. However, unless you're used to pro settings, bringing down TCS to zero and allowing all track penalties, you won't stand much of a chance. Other players will leave you trailing in their source tubes unless you're willing to go the extra mile and take MotoGP 19 for the racing simulator it is instead of an arcade experience. But basically, less hand holding and more seriousness is what is required for you to get a podium in any multiplayer mode. It really is exhilarating and extremely tough going. The historic races and challenges are back with 50 riders, 35 bikes and 3 newly added historical tracks. These challenges are a great insight into the history of MotoGP and its legendary riders who have made the sport become the pinnacle of motorcycle racing. 
A great feature for MotoGP fans who want to be a part of history by reliving this incredible moments of skill, heartache and adrenaline by being right there on the track during these moments of historical significance in the sport. There isn't much else to say about the latest iteration of MotoGP for Milestone other than it delivers. Not only the expected updates on teams and riders but on much more than ever. With more emphasis on player customization, he has made the experience a bit more personal. Let's face it, racing games are for a niche market. Those who are loyal to each release will love this new addition, but for any newcomer, this is definitely the MotoGP to get into. That's all from me. If you ain't playing rock hard, then you ain't playing at all. I'm Excessive Gamer. Until next time.